Hey everybody, today I'm making a crock pot chicken, the rotisserie chicken. Um, so I thought I'd show you guys how to make it because everybody was asking me last time. So you're just going to get a whole young chicken. Um, it was funny, I was watching DJ Breck this morning making her chicken tortilla soup. And as I was watching it, she had mentioned that she got the chickens without the, um, you know, the innards, the, the giblets and the neck and stuff like that, which I usually boil up and I give it to my dog as a special treat um, since we don't eat whole chickens very often. And I was like, man, I need to find me one of those because I cannot stand touching raw meat at all. Um, so, like... I don't like doing it, but I was watching her video this morning, and I was thinking, oh man, I really need to find out where they make those. Well, lo and behold, this weekend I went to Sam's Club, and just happened to pick up um, two of these. This is, um, let's see, uh, it doesn't tell me how many pounds this chicken is, um, but I guess it's probably like a seven pound, maybe ten pounds, something like that. Um, and it was two for like nine dollars. And last time I bought a chicken this size, maybe even a little bit smaller, um, it was at the local grocery store, which was Food Lion. And the chicken itself was like seven dollars. And so they had these at Sam's Club, and it was two of these for nine dollars and eighty-seven cents. So I don't know. I know she shops at Sam's Club or Costco or something like that. They're all the same to me. But um, so I'm like, oh, cool. Okay, now I know where I can get them from, and I can save. I can almost get save fifty percent on that. So, anyways, you're gonna take one whole chicken. You're gonna wash it off. Well, I, I wash all my meat off, um, except for like hamburger or ground turkey, stuff like that. But you're going to wash it off, and then um, you're going to towel dry it, you know, so that it's not too moist. And then what you're going to do is you're going to spray it with some cooking spray. This is just regular old canola cooking spray. And a tip that I learned last time with my spices, you can use any spices you want, you know, it depends on what you're how your body handles sodium and stuff like that. So we don't have that kind of problem. So I just kind of put a little bit of everything that I really like. Um, seasonal, onion, garlic salt, and a little bit of Italian. So what you do is you spray your turkey with the canola oil. You put it, um, first you take ball up aluminum foil. Just put four balls at the bottom of your crock pot. Um, some crock pots have like medium, low, high. Mine actually is like warm 200 250 I just saw a bunch of stuff on it so I need to wash it off that's gross um, but anyways now I'm distracted by that <laughs> so you're gonna um, put put the chicken here in I can't do this holding the camera because I'm the only one here but you put the chicken in the crock pot you put it um, breast side down and what you do is you um, you don't put any water or anything. The juices from the chicken will the chicken will rest on these balls, and you don't have to roll them tight or anything. But the chicken will rest on these balls of aluminum foil, and then th when you're done, last time I was done with the chicken, it filled up the chicken stock just a, or a broth. I mean, just above the balls. So I mean, it gives you quite a bit. And um, I don't eat that, but I can save it, or you can you can bottle it and you know put it in the freezer or however you store it and use it in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and put this together and then I will link, uh, I'll put behind this video what it looks like once it's actually in the crock. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, I forgot to tell a step. Whenever you have the chicken and you're drying it off, make sure, th this is the second time I've made this and the second time I've forgotten. I remember this time to set out all my spices, but what I did not remember was to get the towel ready so that I can towel it off. So this is breast side down. The bottom, the breast side is not, if you hear the baby screaming in the background, I apologize. He just woke up, so he's screaming. <laughs> um, it'll only take a second to do this. But um, the bottom side, the breast side is not, um, is not um, dried, but it's not really going to make a difference, I don't think. So you're just going to spray it lightly. The first time I made this, I read the directions incorrectly, <clears throat> and you're supposed to spray the, well, the directions I read said to spray the um, pan, the crock pot, and I forgot. So, I'm going to put a little bit of salt, some pepper, I forgot to put the, tell you that those were set out on a different side. I'm going to put a little bit... I'm sure that's not a little bit to a lot of you, but 
it falls off anyways most of the time. Um, a little bit of the seasonal salt. I like the onions. If their little legs and wings stick out, just tuck them in. Got some seasoned salt. I don't eat the skin, but it still puts a good flavor into it. I mean, that's garlic salt, not seasoned salt. A little bit of Italian seasoning, and that is it. Now I've got a stupid fly in here. What the hell's going on? Okay, anyways, baby's up. This is what it looks like. You put it in the crock pot, cover it, cook it for about five hours, and I'll put the rest. Hey guys, in. here's our the finished product of our rotisserie chicken. I'm going to show you guys how easy it shreds once I start um, peeling, it, uh, taking it out, I guess you could say. Um, you can see how much chicken broth is at the bottom. It goes probably almost halfway up to the turkey, even though, uh, I mean not turkey, <laughs> chicken, even though... Um, we have it on the aluminum ball, so I mean it produces quite a bit. And then on the side, you'll see how it's sticking just a tiny bit to the side. That's why I don't bother spraying it down with the canola oil, um, like the original directions say, because it doesn't really do anything. So I spray a little bit on the chicken itself, and then you know that's about it. And I don't eat the <clears throat> the skin. Um, it does not get crunchy like a typical rotisserie does, like um, if you get it at, say, Walmart or Sam's Club or any grocery store. I know a lot of them are doing it now, um, but the taste is the exact same, and it's delicious. Do you have me in the picture at all? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. All right, we're done with our rotisserie chicken. I'm going to try <laughs> to take it out of the crock pot now, and because I'm recording, that, recording, that means it's going to be a huge mess. Let it try to get as much of the juice dripping as you can. It's getting heavy. So this is our rotisserie chicken. Like I said, the skin, I don't eat it anyways. It's so um, but it's it's more of a soft instead of the crunchiness that you get um, on the uh, on a regular rotisserie. And um, I'm gonna let it sit for just a second before I cut into it too much, but that's that. And this is the broth that we have. Oops, we got a turkey, a chicken leg in there. Um, well, that's odd. There's only two aluminum balls on this pan. Here, hold that. I think we got aluminum stuck to the chicken. Oops. <laughs> da 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 da. No, no, not it's hot very, at all. It's they're very freezing. Cold. They're freezing, Donovan. Yay! Okay, let's see. It's good. I cooked it a little bit long, too long. I had to go to the grocery store. I would have preferred it probably about a half hour less, but what do you do? Bring it over here, Sierra. I saw in somebody's video, I can't remember what her username is, but she showed a way to cook broccoli like they do in the um, Asian restaurants. So I'm going to cook it and I'm going to put it all in at once so you get a rolling boil. Hopefully. Don't want to get burnt. Alright, just do that. It'll keep the color. Donovan! Good. We're just gonna cook this. It only takes a few minutes. I'm just gonna make sure it's all under there. Here, hand me that. I'll hold that. No, I need something to put the broccoli in when it's done. This is just fresh broccoli, nice and green. <coughs> um, hand me a. Here's here. Hand me a, a, a pink, that white glass dish. <coughs> and we could probably cover no. with this. Right? It's a pan and it's glass. Oh. It's a white glass dish. That still looks good. This? Is that glass? Oh. Boys. Men. <laughs> Boys. And men. Me. Hurry up, Donovan. I can't find it. Is it in this one? Oh, I'll see if it's 
Why? You is that me? white? I mean, is it clear? Yes. I said white, huh? Yes. All right, you're forgiven. See? See? <laughs> Thus, I did it first. Sierra, you're getting, like, everything but me. No, no. Oh, okay, so I'm just going to get a bowl or whatever. Measuring cup. <laughs> See? See? All right. Blonde, All right, go, Blondie. Yay! Yeah. Sierra. Um... And it comes out just like it does in the head makeup work, please. <coughs> I am covering my mouth even though you can't see it. No, nope, still got a little bit left to go. <coughs> see, oh. she covers. And it, you see the rolling boil starting to come back. The green, it's still nice and green. <coughs> I should have maybe drank some water when I got home from the store instead of immediately picking up the camera to record. <laughs> no fat milk? And all I'm doing, no thank you. All I'm doing is using the fork to pierce this broccoli to see how tender it is. Because we don't want it to be too um, tender or um, too soft. Too undone, I guess. Sarah, what are you recording? Because I'm like way up here. I'm recording the broccoli. Cooking videos. Yay. I think this is your first one, right? Um, no, I did a little bit earlier today. Alright, we're going to turn it off for now, but this is all you do, and you take your little strainer and you pull it out when it's all done. It's supposed to stay nice and green. Hers did in the picture. I wish I could remember her username. I have a hard time remembering usernames, but I'll link her down below so that you can see her actual video that she did it in. And she's, she's really inspir uh, inspirational, too. She works out a lot and <clears throat> is doing really well with her exercise and eating habits and stuff like that. So I'll link her in the bottom, and I apologize for not remembering your username. <laughs> it's probably something really easy, too, but... <laughs> Hello! Oh. It's okay, it's just from this. All right, go ahead and turn it off, and we'll show everything when it's finally Okay, finished. so I didn't look at the time to tell you exactly how many minutes, but I would say about five minutes. This is our broccoli. Um, looks like you can tell... At the end of like this one, I don't know if you can see it that well, but it's a light or like a yellow color. That's where it was starting to get cooked a little bit too much, but I had a hard time getting this thing down far enough in my pan. So um, I got it all out. Water's nice and green, but most of the green is still left in our broccoli. So we'll show you a plated up meal. We're also going to have some baked potatoes um, with this. So I will show you a plated up meal as soon as we're done. Okay, so here's my finished meal. <clears throat> Believe it or not, this is only six ounces of chicken. I measured it out. I put what I usually thought I would get in just to see how close I am to measurements. Um, I thought I was always eating eight ounces. Apparently, I can't eat eight ounces. Um, this is six ounces, and I don't think I'll be able to finish it. Uh, it's got, I've got a large um, baked potato, two tablespoons of... Um, Ranch dressing, I know I'm a little odd. Most people like, like, you know, cheese and butter and sour cream and stuff. I only want salt, pepper, and ranch. And then my broccoli. So, this is our meal. I don't know the points off the top of my head, but I will have them in the bar, of course.